Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Dings and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about equation of a circle. The standard equation of a circle with center at hk and a radius of r units is the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. It is also called as the center radius form of the equation of a circle. So this is now the illustration of a circle wherein the center is located at hk wherein h is the x-coordinate of the center of the circle and k is the y-coordinate of the center of the circle. So, if we have that illustration, the equation will be the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And if the center of the circle is located at the origin of the plane or the Cartesian plane wherein the coordinates of the center of the circle is 0, 0. So the value of h is 0 and the value of k is 0. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So if the center of the circle is at the origin, the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. For example, number one, what is the center and radius of the circle? The quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y plus 6 squared is equal to 49. First step is we're going to write the given equation in the form of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And the equation will be the quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus negative 6 squared is equal to 7 squared. 49 is equal to 7 squared. Next step is we're going to determine the value of h k and r in the given equation. So the value of h is 3, the value of k is negative 6, and the value of r is 7. And then next step is we're going to determine the coordinates of the center of the circle wherein the coordinates will be h, k. So here since the value of h is 3 and the value of k is negative 6, so the center of the circle is 3, negative 6. And the radius of the circle is 7 units. For example, number 2, what is the center and radius of the circle, the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus 8 squared is equal to 81? First step is we're going to write the given equation in the form of the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And the equation will be the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus 8 squared is equal to 9 squared. 81 is equal to 9 squared. Next is we're going to determine the value of h, k, and r in the given equation. The value of h is 1, the value of k is 8, and the value of r is 9. And then next is we're going to write the coordinates of the center of the circle. We're in the center of the circle is hk. So we will just substitute the value of h and k. And the center of the circle is 1, 8. And the radius of the circle is 9 units. That is the value of r. For example, number 3. What is the center and radius of the circle? The quantity of x plus 5 squared plus the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 36. First step is we're going to write the given equation in the form of the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And the equation will be the quantity of x minus negative 5 squared 
plus the quantity of y minus negative 2 squared is equal to 6 squared. x plus 5 is the same as x minus negative 5. And y plus 2 is the same as y minus negative 2. And the square of 6 is equal to 36. And the next step is we're going to determine the value of h, k, and r in the given equation. The value of h is negative 5. The value of k is negative 2. And the value of r is 6. And then next is we're going to determine the center of the circle wherein the coordinates is h, k. So, we're going to substitute the value of h and k. So, we have the center of the circle is negative 5, negative 2. And since the value of r is 6, so the radius of the circle is 6 units. Let's have now an activity. We're going to fill in the table. So, here, in item number 1, the given equation is the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus the quantity of y minus 5 squared is equal to 25. So, we're going to determine the coordinates of the center of the circle and the radius. So, in the first equation, the value of h is 2, the value of k is 5, and the value of r squared is 25. So, for the center, we have 2, 5. 2 is the value of h, and 5 is the value of k. And then, for the radius of the circle, so we have 5 units. The square root of 25 is 5. So, therefore, the radius of the circle is 5 units. And in item number 2, the center of the circle is negative 3, 7, and the radius of the circle is 8 units. So, the value of h is negative 3, the value of k is 7, and the value of r is 8. So, the equation of the circle is the quantity of x plus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus 7 squared is equal to 64. 8 times 8 is equal to 64. Next, number 3. The center of the circle is negative 1, negative 9. And the radius of the circle is 2 square root of 5 units. The value of h is negative 1. The value of k is negative 9. The value of r is 2 square root of 5. And the equation is the quantity of x plus 1 squared plus the quantity of y plus 9 squared is equal to 20. How did we get 20? So, that is the square of 2 square root of 5. 2 times 2 is 4. And square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. So, 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Next, for item number 4, the given equation is the quantity of x minus 4 squared plus the quantity of y plus 5 squared is equal to 13. In the given equation, the value of h is 4, the value of k is negative 5, and the value of r squared is 13. So, the center of the circle is 4, negative 5, and the square root of 13 is the square root of 13 units. That is the radius of the circle. For Item number 5, the center of the circle is negative 6, negative 2, and the radius of the circle is 3, square root of 3 units. The value of h is negative 6, the value of k is negative 2, and the value of r is 3, square root of 3. So, the equation of the circle is the quantity of x plus 6 squared plus the quantity of y plus 2 squared is equal to 27. So, how did we get 27? That is 3 times 3 is equal to 9 and square root of 3 times square root of 3 is 3. 9 times 3 is equal to 27. 
Let us discuss now the equation of a circle given its graph. What is the equation of circle A? So let us consider now this illustration. We have here circle A. This is circle A. And the center of the circle is located at the origin of the plane wherein the coordinates is 0, 0. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 3 squared. Where did we get 3 squared? So here this is the radius which is 3. So we, we will count from the center of the circle and then we are going to count the units. So we have 1, 2, 3. Therefore, the value of R is 3. And then, we're going to simplify the equation. So, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. 3 squared is equal to 9. So, the equation of circle A is x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. Next example, what is the equation of circle B? And... In the illustration, we have circle B. And then, this is now the location of the center of the circle, wherein the coordinates is 1, 2. The value of H is 1, and the value of K is 2. And then, the radius is 3. So, since this is the center of the circle, we're going to count now the number of units from the center of the circle, so, we have 1, 2, 3. So, that's why we have here R is equal to 3. Next is, we're going to substitute the value of H, K, and R in the equation. So, we have X minus 1 squared or the quantity of X minus 1 squared plus the quantity of Y minus 2 squared is equal to 3 squared. And then, simplify the equation, we have the quantity of x minus 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus 2 squared is equal to 9. So, that is the equation of circle P. Next example, what is the equation of circle A? So, in the illustration, this is circle A. And the location of the center of the circle is here wherein the coordinates of the center of the circle is negative 4, 2. So, the value of H is negative 4 and the value of K is 2. And then, the radius of the circle is 4 units. So, we're going to count the number of units from the center of the circle. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the radius of the circle is 4 units. And then, we're going to substitute the value of H, K, and R in the equation. So, we have the quantity of X minus negative 4 squared plus the quantity of Y minus 2 squared is equal to 4 squared. Next is, we're going to simplify the equation. So, X minus negative 4 squared is the quantity of x plus 4 squared and then plus the quantity of y minus 2 squared is equal to the square of 4 is 16. So, that is the equation of circle A. Let us discuss now the general equation of a circle. The general equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus EY plus F is equal to 0, where D, E, and F are real numbers. So, let's have example number 1. Write the general equation of a circle with center 4, negative 1, and a radius of 7 units. Okay, so for the solution, we have we're going to write the given equation first in the standard form or in center radius form. So, the value of H is 4 and the value of K is negative 1. The radius is 7. So, the equation is the quantity of X minus 4 squared plus the quantity of Y plus 1 squared 
is equal to 49. The square of 7 is equal to 49. And then next step is we're going to get the square of x minus 4. And the square of x minus 4 is x squared minus 8x plus 16. So x times x is x squared and then negative 4 times x is negative 4x and then times 2. So that is negative 8x. And then the third term that is negative 4 times negative 4 is equal to 16. Next is we're going to determine the square of y plus 1. So y times y is y squared. And then 1 times y is equal to y times 2 is equal to 2y. And then 1 times 1 is equal to 1. And that is equal to 49. So that is 7 times 7 is equal to 49. And then next is we're going to rearrange now the equation. So we have x squared plus y squared. So, yan. And then minus 8x plus 2y. And then we're going to combine all constant terms. So we have plus 16 plus 1. And then we're going to add negative 49 to both sides of the equation. So we have here, and then simplify. So we have minus 49 equals 0. And then 16 plus 1 is equal to 17. And then minus 49 equals negative 32. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared minus 8x plus 2y minus 32 is equal to 0. For example, number 2, write the general equation of a circle with center 3, 4, and a radius of 3 units. So for the solution, first is we're going to determine the value of H, K, and R. So H is 3, the value of K is 4, and the value of R is 3. So we're going to substitute the value of H, K, and R in the standard form of the equation. So we have the quantity of x minus 3 squared plus the quantity of y minus 4 squared is equal to 3 squared. And then, we're going to get the square of x minus 3. So we have x squared. So that is x times x is x squared. And then negative 3 times x is negative 3x times 2 is negative 6x so that's why we have x squared minus 6x and then the third term that is negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9 and then plus the square of y minus 4 y times y is y squared negative 4 times y is negative 4y times 2 is negative 8y and then negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16 and then 3 squared is equal to 9. Next is we're going to rewrite now the given equation in general form. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y. And then we're going to combine all constant terms and then we have plus 9 plus 16. And then, we're going to add negative 9 to both sides of the equation and simplify. So, we have here now minus 9 equals 0. And the next step is we're going to combine the constant term. So, 9 plus 16 is equal to 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. So, the equation of the circle now is x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 8y plus 16 is equal to 0. 
Next, for example, number three, write the general equation of a circle with center negative 7, negative 4, and a radius of 8 units. So here, the value of h is negative 7, the value of k is negative 4, and the value of r is 8. So the equation now in standard form or in center radius form is the quantity of x plus 7 squared plus the quantity of y plus 4 squared is equal to 8 squared. Next step is we're going to determine the square of x plus 7. So that is x times x is x squared. 7 times x is 7x times 2 is 14x. And then 7 times 7 equals 49 plus the square of y plus 4 so that is y times y is y squared 4 times y is 4y times 2 is 8y and then 4 times 4 is equal to 16 that is equal to the square of 8 is 64 next is we're going to rearrange the given equation so we have x squared plus y squared plus 14x plus 8y so we're going to combine all constant term we have plus 49 plus 16 and then we're going to add negative 64 to both sides of the equation and then simplify the equation now we have x squared plus y squared plus 14x plus 8y so 49 plus 16 minus 64 is equal to 1 and that is equal to 0. So therefore, the equation or the general equation of the circle with center negative 4, ne a negative 7, negative 4, and a radius of 8 units is x squared plus y squared plus 14x plus 8y plus 1 is equal to 0. For example number 4, what is the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 4y minus 7 is equal to 0. So first is we're going to determine the value of d, e, and f. d, that is the coefficient of x. This is the coefficient of x. And then e is the coefficient of y. And f is the constant term. So, the value of D in the given equation is negative 10. The value of E is positive 4. And the constant term or the value of F is negative 7. And then next is we're going to solve for the value of H. So, the formula in finding the value of H is D over negative 2. We're going to substitute the value of D, which is negative 10. And then, divided by negative 2 is equal to 5. Next is, we're going to solve for the value of K. And the formula in finding the value of K is E over negative 2. Or E divided by negative 2. Uh, first is, we're going to substitute the value of E. In the formula, so we have 4 divided by negative 2 equals negative 2. 4 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 2. And then next is we're going to solve for the value of r. So we have r is equal to the square root of x squared, h squared, plus k squared minus f wherein the value of h is 5, the value of k is negative 2, and the value of f is negative 7. So we have the square root of 5 squared plus the square of negative 2 or negative 2 squared minus negative 7. And then simplify, square of 5 is 25 the square of negative 2 is positive 4. So we have 25 plus 4 is 29. 
And then, negative times negative 7 is positive 7. So, 29 plus 7 is equal to 36. And the square root of 36 is 6. So, since we have now the value for H, K, and R, so the center of the circle is 5, negative 2. So, 5, negative 2, that is the value of H, K. And the radius is 6 units. That is the answer in example number 4. Next, example number 5. What is the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 6y minus 5 is equal to 0? First step is we're going to determine the value of D, E, N, F. T, that is the coefficient of x which is negative 2. And then E is the coefficient of y which is negative 6. And F is the constant term, which is negative 5. So, we have, since we have now the value of D, E, and F, so we're going to solve for the value of H. So, we have H is equal to D divided by negative 2. The value of D is negative 2 divided by negative 2 is equal to 1. And then next for the value of K, E. Uh, K is equal to E divided by negative 2. The value of E is negative 6. So, negative 6 divided by negative 2 equals positive 3. Next is, we're going to solve for the value of R. So, we have R is equal to the square root of H squared plus K squared minus F. And then, we're going to substitute now the value of H K and F in the given equation. So, we have R is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared minus negative 5. So, here the square of 1 is 1 plus the square of 3 is 9. So, 1 plus 9 is equal to 10. And then, minus negative 5. Negative times negative 5 is positive 5. So, 10 plus 5 equals square root of 15. So, the value of H is 1. The value of K is 3. And the value of R is square root of 15. So, therefore, the center of the circle is 1, 3. And the radius is square root of 15 units. For example, number 6, what is the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared plus 18x plus 12y plus 27 equals 0? First step is we're going to determine the value of D, E, and F in the given equation. The value of D is 18. The value of E is 12. And the value of F is 27. Next is, we're going to determine the value of H. H equals D divided by 2. The value of D is 18. So, we will divide 18 by negative 2. And the answer is negative 9. Next is, for the value of K, K is equal to E divided by negative 2. The value of E is 12. So, 12 divided by negative 2 equals negative 6. So, since we have now the value for H and K, we can solve now for the value of R. So, we have R is equal to the square root of H squared plus K squared minus F. And that is equal to, we're going to substitute the value of H, K, and F in the equation or in the formula so we have h squared is equal to negative 9 squared and then k squared is equal to negative 6 squared and negative f is equal to negative 27 and then simplify 
the square of negative 9 is 81 plus the square of negative 6 is 36 and then minus 27 81 plus 36 minus 27 is equal to 90 and the factors of 90 are 9 and 10 so 9 times 10 is equal to 90 and the square root of 9 is 3 so therefore the square root of 90 is equal to 3 square root of 10 so since the value of h is negative 9 and the value of k is negative 6 so the center of the circle is negative 9 negative 6 and the radius is 3 square root of 10 units next for example number 7 what is the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 14x minus 8y minus 15 equals 0 so the value of d is negative 14 the value of e is negative 8 and the value of f is negative 15 we're going to solve now for the value of h h is equal to d divided by negative 2 the value of d is negative 14 negative 14 divided by negative 2 equals 7 and then next step is we're going to solve for the value of k k is equal to e divided by negative 2 the value of e is negative 8 so negative 8 divided by negative 2 equals 4 so since we have now the value for h and k we can solve now for the value of r and then r is equal to the square root of h squared plus k squared minus f we're in the value of h is 7 so that's why we have the square root of 7 squared plus the value of k is 4 so we have 4 squared minus negative 15 the value of f is negative 15 so we're going to simplify now so we have the square of 7 or 7 squared is 49 plus the square of 4 is 16 and then minus negative 15 so that will be plus 15 49 plus 16 plus 15 is equal to the square root of 16 times 5 so the square root of 16 is 4 so therefore the value of r is 4 square root of 5 and the final answer the center of the circle is 7 4 and the radius is 4 square root of 5 units Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.